what's going on guys it's that guy on youtube here and today we're going to be taking a review of the warhammer 40k starter set dark vengeance <laughs> so now without further ado we're going to go everything uh, go over everything that comes with the set first an awesome box second two armies all right so we're going to go over each of them individually so you get your chaos space marines and your regular space marines the dark angels you get a bunch, uh, six dice and a scatter dice. I actually lost one of the dice. Three templates, all the templates you'll need to play a regular game of Warhammer 40k. Two tape measure esque things. Uh, a roster, which has all the rules for all the guys included in the set. Uh, a special thing for Vrosh Tartarsoul, who is a special guy that you get with the Scale Space Marines. A quick guide on how to play, and then the rules for anything you're not quite sure on. And this set cost me £60 at my local games workshop, which was a really, really good deal. And honestly, I'm so happy I bought it. So now we're going to go in depth to the armies. We're going to take a look at the Dark Angels first. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, just because I've already made a video about this army. But you get a Company Master, Company Master Balasthar, a Librarian who is called... Termiel, Librarian Termiel, a sergeant for your tactical marines called Veteran Sergeant Raphael, who I still need to paint up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tactical marines. One has a plasma gun, one has a plasma cannon. And if you actually buy four Dark Vengeances, then you get four of these guys. You can actually split them, take these guys out along with one of the sergeants, and make them into a Devastator squad. So that's some food for thought for you. Next you get bikers. Uh, you get three of them. So you get one guy with a bolt pistol and his twin linked bolt guns. The sergeant with the chainsaw and twin linked bolt guns. And another guy with a plasma gun and twin linked bolt guns. And then you get five deathwing terminators. So they have stormbolter power fist on, one guy, on three guys. Stormbolter chain fist. Oh, sorry, you get stormbolter power fist on... This guy here, and this guy. Stormbolt or Chain Fist on this guy. Stormbolt, um, Assault Cannon and Power Fist on this guy. And then you get a Stormbolt and a Power Sword on this guy. And he's the sergeant of the team. So next, uh, now that we've gone over the Dark Angels, I'm going to go over the Chaos Space Marines. Now I just want to say, I am... Um, I was originally intending to buy these for the Dark Angels, but I've been drawn in by the Dark Gods, and I actually really like these guys. So you have your Garden Variety Chaos Lord, just plain, simple, Power Sword and Plasma Pistol. An aspiring champion called Varosh Tartarsoul, and I'll go over his lore later. He has a Power Axe, I believe. Yeah, Power Axe, a multi melt or not a multi melter, a combi melter. So that's what he comes with. And I'm knocking over all the cultists. And just the regular close combat weapon, as well as frag and crack grenades. Next, you get a squad of Chaos Chosen. And you have a guy with lightning, twin lightning claws, two guys with bolt guns, a guy with a bolt pistol and a power fist, a guy with a power axe and a bolt pistol, and this guy, who I haven't painted up yet, but he has a power maul originally, but I, uh, since I have a bunch of extra parts... Because I got second squad of chosen and a second chaos lord. This guy has a plasma pistol from the chaos lord. Then you have your chosen. Not your chosen, your cultists. What am I saying? I can't use words with my mouth and my brain and the. I've actually set these guys up in pairs. So auto guns, auto guns, auto guns, auto guns. Heavy stubber, shotgun, and close combat weapon. And then up at the back here, we have two close combat weapons, a flamer, pistols, auto pistols, and close combat weapons for all the rest of the guys. And finally, Heli, the Hellbrute. He doesn't come with this missile, it's spear from my Devilfish kit that I got. And I just glued it on. I didn't paint his inside, cause, and I forgot to put it in his face, because I'm a stupid. But I've just been working on Heli for ages. Ever since my little sister built him really badly and then painted him really even worse. 
So, but now I've got him looking very crimson slaughtery. And with like the green tentacles coming out of there. Blah, blah, blah. But he's a lot of fun and he has a power fist and a multi melter. You also get, like I said, six dice, which you roll. As you do with dice. Large blast. I don't think there's anyone in this thing that has a large blast, but it's nice to have. Flamer template, which is like this teardrop thing. And when you're firing a flamer, you put it over all the guys, trying to hit as many as possible. And then the small blast, which either comes from Heli, the chosen aspiring champion, or this dude over here with the plasma cannon, and he goes pew and blows stuff up. So now we're going to go over the roster on the Dark Angel side first. So it goes over the company master. I'm actually going to open the curtains so I can get a bit better light and I'll pause the video once I've done that. Right, so we're back with the Dark Angels roster. And I'm going to slide the camera along so that the torch doesn't make a glare. And... <laughs> ah, it's hitting all my buttons. I don't like that. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll just deal with it like that. Yeah, that's it covered up. So you get um, the Company Master Ballastar, and he is an independent character, and he has a oh, he has a full pistol, a power sword, a combi weapon, which is a bolter and a plasma gun, frag grenades and crack grenades, as well as an iron halo, which gives him a full a four plus invul and uh, two wounds. Then you also get Turmiel, who I'm not going to go over because he's just your Garden Variety Psyker, Garden Variety uh, Tacticals, Garden Variety Deathwings, and Garden Variety these guys. It also tells you all the weapons, and it's just the same for these guys. Then if you open this up, you have a quick reference sheet, which has all the rules that you'll need right away on the... Uh, battlefield when you're fielding these guys against each other. Next, we're going to go over Vrosh Tattersall. So, amongst all the Crimson Slaughter, there was one who reveled in bloodshed more than any other. Vrosh Tattersall, the Cleaver. While many within the Crimson Sabres chapter attempted to resist the voices inside their heads, Vrosh welcomed that dark guidance. In battle, he became a butcher, using weapons in each hand to become a, a whirling cyclone of death. Rosh's new patrons gifted him with alterations, and he accepted them without question. Twin sets of horns sprouted from his helm, and the smooth lines of his power armor were broken with spikes and shifted faces, shifting faces. It was on Bane's Landing that Rosh earned his title, the Cleaver, as well as the undying amenity of the Dark Angel's chapter. Inspired by the su savage suggestions whispered in his mind, he roused his squad to carve a path of brutal violence, leaving corpses so mutilated that the Dark Angel's apothecaries were unable to receive, retrieve regalia or gene seed from the dead. Vrosh cared not, for he was now an aspiring champion of the Dark Gods, and he would do anything to gain more of their favours. So, he has a cool bit of lore, as well as an assembly guide on the back, and some pictures. And then... He has a few unique special rules. Uh, the Cleaver. Rosh Tartarsal must always issue or accept a challenge if possible. If there is more than one model in combat with this rule, with this or with a rule with this effect, you may select with model issues or accepts the challenge. And uh, whenever Rosh Tartarsal kills an enemy character, he gains plus one attack for the rest of the battle. So that can be really helpful. Because then I can go from my four attacks if I charge... Because I have two close combat weapons and the I have close, two close combat weapons, my bonus for charging, and two attacks. Then if I kill the company master or whatever, that's five. That's five attacks when I charge. Then he has rage. In the turn which Ross Tartarsol charges into combat, he gains two plus attacks for charging rather than one plus unless he made a disordered charge. So even more attacks. Then he has power armor, a combi melter, a power axe, a close combat weapon, a frag grenade, a crack grenade. And then his rules are the independent, uh, cleaver, independent character, and rage. I mean, come on, look at this guy, he looks so cool. 
I love that mod. So next you've got your um, how to play. I'm gonna move over here because my legs are getting sore. So this opens up and it gives you a brief introduction and kind of a staged game which teaches you all the mechanics. So I'll just flip through that. It has some nice pictures as well. Um, and then it gives you a bit of lore on the millennium that we're in, the Dark Angels and the Chaos Space Marines. I'm not going to read that out. And then it gives you some missions to play. So the first one you can play on your own. It's called Rampage. And um, basically you and your squad of Chosen and your Chaos Lord have to stop the Hellbrute rampaging around. Because Heli has had a bit of a tantrum because Chaos Lord won't let him go and kill stuff. And Heli is not... He's throwing a strop. So you have to try and shut down the Hilbert, and I'm definitely going to make a battle report for that. Then there's the Long and Winding Road, which is a Dark Angels mission, where you have to guide these three bikers through three attacks from a group of Chaos Cultists. Then you have one that you'll need two people for, which is Ambush, where you have to ambush the squads of Cultists with a small squad of Tactical Marines, which I don't like the look of, because the Tacticals are probably going to lose. Then Psychic Storm... You have to use a Librarian and a squad of Deathwing Terminators. Although the Deathwing Terminators are in reserve. So yeah, if you murder the Psyker first turn, you you win. And then the, river, then the reserves for the Chaos Space Marines are the second squad of Cultists and Drasnik's Ravagers, the Chosen. And then you have the Chaos Space Marine uh, Sect Tektvar in front, which is the squad with... The, the heavy stubber and the all guns. Then you have firefight, which is just murder as much as possible. And the hellfire stone, which is my favourite, where there's a relic you're fighting over. And you have to have the hellfire stone and then keep it with your guys and move it back in your deployment zone. I might be making my own interpretation of that, but that's it. Also have some nice artwork on the back. And then you have the rule book. Mine's is in pretty bad shape, although I did get another one, which I'm probably going to sell on and when I can find it, because my mum's put it away and I can't find it. But I'll sell that on eBay, and I'll, when that goes up, I'll put a link in the video description. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything that comes with Dark Vengeance. Just a quick review. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. The set cost about £60, and for my overall verdict, it's well worth it. If you guys can get a Games Workshop near you, there's one in Falkirk, and it's just awesome. Like, the stuff, the amount of stuff you get in this kit, as well as the option to buy expansions, which, for the Chaos Space Marines, you get another squad of cultists, and um, some Terminator, so, so Chaos Space Marine Terminators, a Land Raider, which, come on, it's a Land Raider, and um, Warp Talons as well, and those guys are really good. And then for these guys, you get another squad of Bikers, some Deathwing Knights, and um a uh, flyer so that's really good and i'll make reviews of them as and when i get them but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a really good quality set that you should go and buy uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video please like subscribe share the video um and i'll see all you guys in the next video